So um, I have one in my home, for example, and it's doing like tidying, cleaning, vacuuming, some laundry, different kind of tasks around the, whole, uh, around the home. And of course, also the social aspect of this, right? Being able to have this AI companion together with you, which doesn't allow you, doesn't actually require you to look at your phone all the time to be able to interface with AI. Mm -hmm. Now, currently, this is still pretty brittle, and the magic is there, and then maybe it lasts for a minute, and then you need someone to nudge it in the right direction, right? But it's really getting to where you see where this will go, and the hardware can do it, and now it's really about how do we gather the data that allows us to automate all this behavior. And that's also really what we're doing this year, right? So when we're talking about the goal being by end of year, we're actually gonna have this commercially out in the market in homes. It's really important to do expectation management because this is not the consumer product at that point that everyone will have at home. This is the beginning of a journey where we're inviting people in on our mission to really almost like adopt a Neo into your family, mm. have it live and learn among us, and have a lot of fun around 